briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2011, a Tennessee Supreme Court case examined who is legally responsible when a member of a family causes an accident while driving a vehicle provided by another family member. The contentious point in this case, known as Star v. Hill, was the application of the family purpose doctrine. The case originated from a car accident caused by a 16-year-old boy. The teenager was behind the wheel of a vehicle provided by his father when he crashed. In the subsequent lawsuit, the father found himself ensnared in the family purpose doctrine. The questions raised revolved around whether the father was considered the head of the household, if the vehicle was meant for family pleasure or comfort, and if the father had sufficient control over the vehicle's use. The initial court ruled in favor of the father. However, this decision was contested and subsequently overturned on appeal. The dispute mainly revolved around whether the father, despite being recognized as the household head, had control over the use of the vehicle by his son. With the issue of control being a critical point, the Tennessee Supreme Court found that it was a matter to be decided by a jury. The case, therefore, was not resolved on appeal but sent back for further trial. The Supreme Court's decision underscored the complexities of the family purpose doctrine, suggesting that the right of control over a vehicle was not just about legal ownership, but actual control. Both parties bore equal trial costs. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.